there's a lucrative money-making side hustle currently happening on Etsy, custom pet portraits. In this video, I'll show you how to make those customizable pet portraits and some new trends that are just coming up. According to E-Rank, wall art was the top search product on Etsy for the beginning of 2025. Definitely take advantage of this because you only have to deliver a digital download to your customer. So it's so much less stressful than printing and shipping. Let me walk you through how to create these digital files. So first go to a website called playground.com. So these are all AI generated pieces of art broken out by template type. So I'm gonna select upload and edit image. I'm gonna upload a picture of my dog Ranger. So I basically wanna turn this photo into a black and white illustration, almost like a coloring book illustration. And at the bottom, you will see a prompt box. So I'm just gonna start with something really simple. So this is how it turned out. It came out really cute. So I wanna add his name. So right above the search prompt, that little bar, I'm going to select the text icon. And then at the top right here, I'm just going to add his name. And under the drop down menu, you could easily update the font. You could also add color, but I'm gonna keep it black. And then at the top right, click export. So you have the option to download as is, or you could upscale it by four times. So this is a good idea, especially if you sell printable products, you wanna make sure it's nice and crisp. So Renaissance pet portraits are one of the most popular bestsellers on Etsy. So this time I'm gonna do a search in Playground for a Renaissance pet portrait. So there's quite a few really cute options we could try. I'm actually gonna try this one up here and I'm going to upload my dog's photo here. So it came out really cute. Now I'm gonna download it and I wanna actually bring it into Canva. This way I could customize the size and the background and even add text. So in Canva, I'm gonna create an eight by 10 inch size document. So this is a typical print size and his arms are cropped off a little. So I'm gonna select edit and then select magic expand whole page. So AI will fill in the rest and it gives you four different choices to choose from. So I'm gonna choose this one. I'm also going to remove the background. I really like this color. So I'm going to select the background and grab the eyedropper tool to capture the color. And then I'll just remove the background so it looks a little neater. And a lot of sellers do give customers the choice to choose their background color and also select certain fonts. So this is just an added customization that could really help with our sales. So I'm going to add text to the top and then I'm going to add Sir Ranger. You, you could really add anything you want to be creative and I'm arching it just a bit to give it more of that royal look. And you can really play around with the different vintage fonts that they have. So I found this font that I really like. And when you're done, go to share, download and make sure you select PDF print and CMYK. So this is best for printing. And a lot of sellers give users the choice to pick a particular style. And I also recommend creating something like this in Canva with your mock-up listings, just to make sure people deliver you a really good quality photo. You can even suggest online printers in the delivery PDF that you deliver to your customer along with the file. So let's go back to Playground and start experimenting with other styles. Under the main page, you're gonna select art. So these are all commercial use graphics that you could use for your designs. So I'm going to select this tiger with a crown. And in the prompt, I'm going to select 4.0 and upload my image. And then I'm gonna prompt it to change the tiger to the dog in the image. Okay, so it actually came out really cute. I love how it looks. So the next thing you can do is actually add it to a mock-up. So if you select put in mock-up at the bottom bar, a bunch of different mock-ups will come up and I'm going to select this one since it's wall art. And this saves me a lot of time from having to mock it up manually myself. I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And I also wanna create another mock-up. So I'm gonna click on that left arrow at the top to go back, find another mock-up. And this time I'm gonna select home decor so I can see the options. And I really like this option, it's dark, it kind of matches the background. All right, so that turned out really cute. You could also customize the background if you want by adding anything additional in the prompt box below. So now I just wanna do a generic search for pets. I'm gonna add pet lovers to the search bar. I wanna get an idea of the types of graphics that I could possibly use. So you could definitely explore different types of designs, illustrations. 
So this helps, especially if you're not really great with prompts and it's easier to just browse through a catalog. So another trend I'm noticing are funny bathroom images of dogs reading on the toilet, like reading a newspaper. So people could get this printed and add it to their bathroom. So I'm gonna do a search for reading in Playground just to see if there's any interesting ideas. And I did find this cute graphic of this tiger reading while sitting on the toilet. And in the Explore tab on the left, I actually found this graphic, which is perfect. So I'm gonna upload a picture of my dog and then ask it to change to the dog in the attached image and then also update the book to a newspaper. Okay, so that came out really cute. So I'm actually going to experiment my ranger in other images. So I found this really funny image of this cat holding the mug. So I'm gonna prompt it to update the image and also change the mug to say world's best dog. It's almost like an office reference if you remember the office. So you could also change the style by clicking on change style at the bottom. And there's lots of different styles that you could choose from. You can also search for a style. So in the search bar, I'm gonna do a search for watercolor. And then it's gonna give you different watercolor styles that you could choose from. So I'm gonna select one and it completely updated that design. So now I'm gonna go export and download this. So a new AI trend is just starting to come out. It's animal selfies. So let's do a search for selfies on Playground and see if we could find any great starting templates. So I scrolled down and found this really cute selfie image of a cat in front of the Eiffel Tower. So I'm going to use that as my base design. And I'm gonna upload my photo and ask it to update the cat to the dog in the image. All right, so I love the way that turned out. So I'm gonna go explore and see if I could find any other selfies with different backgrounds. And here are some other examples of animal selfies I found on Playground, which are super cute. So you can go in and update the prompts. So I'm gonna change this to a cat and add New York City in the background. So I love the way that came out. You could switch it out to any type of city and environment. I found this other one of a cat taking a selfie in the snow with a snowman in the background, which is really cute. And then if you click on the Explore tab at the top left, It'll activate the sidebar, which will have related photos, like this rabbit photo. So this would be a really great seasonal design. And again, you could switch that out to any animal or upload any of your pictures. And there's tons of other cute seasonal animal photos that you could easily add to your design. So comment below if you've tried any of these pet portraits and if you wanna see these types of tutorial videos again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.